Have you kids ever heard of Pokemon? Well, I've been getting pretty deep into Pokemon recently, let me tell you. And I actually started a new channel called Pokezek, where I, uh, I open Pokemon packs. I, uh... I, I mean, that's pretty much it. But if you like Pokemon and that's your kind of thing, uh, make sure you go check out my new channel. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I already have a couple of videos up. I've unboxed some pretty crazy cards already. And in my most recent video, I'm giving away a Charizard Hollow card. So make sure you go check it out. Links in the description. Also, uh, you can just find it. It's called Pokezek. All right, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Hey, what is up, guys? Zach here, and welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we are back on Skate 3. Yes, today is a new day, and today we're actually doing a pretty new challenge. This is a challenge that's been blowing up on TikTok. Surprisingly, there's a pretty big TikTok community for Skate 3, and this is one of the bigger challenges I've seen recently. It's called the Thread the Needle Challenge, where basically you go around the map and you try to thread the needle, I guess? I, I like to call it the Narrow Gap Challenge. You find, like, really narrow spots and you try to squeeze your skater right in between them. So, uh, it might sound a little complicated, but I tried this challenge a couple of days ago, I think it was, and it was, it was a tough video. I actually only finished one of the challenges, but I have the clip, so I'm going to show you guys the clip, and this should give you an example of what this video is going to be like. Let's go! <gasps> so yes, that is an example of one of the narrow challenges that I am trying to complete. But that one's already done. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but we're going to do some other ones today. We, there's some other good narrow challenges that we're going to get to. And if you guys have any challenges of your own that you'd like to send in, you can always send them to me on Twitter or Instagram at ZexuZex. I'm always looking for new challenges to do. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into some of these narrow gap challenges, also known as Thread the Needle challenges. So the first challenge we have today actually comes from one of my mods in my Twitch chat. I actually stream every week on Twitch. Link in the description if you're interested. But let's watch this video. So this is from 44 Lion. You can see he's in the industrial zone. He jumps down down into these like I don't know what these are I, I actually don't know but you can skate them but he goes here he gets into a coffin interested to see where this is going he goes out and then oh upside down in between those narrow pipes now that is the definition of a narrow challenge so we're gonna go over to the industrial district we're gonna see if we can coffin in between those pipes that's a pretty neat one so something cool about this spot is we actually get to use the secret tunnel in skate 3 I don't actually use the secret tunnel very often oh my gosh oh my gosh oh oh Okay, yep, we're fine. The secret tunnel right here. If you guys don't know about this, here we go. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! I hope you guys get that reference. If not, that was probably just awkward. But yes, there's a secret tunnel here. It's pretty neat. And if you go all the way through it, it takes you out to right where you need to be. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. So I think we actually have to go one lower. Yes, we go onto this roof right here. And these are the things. Can someone tell me what these are? But anyways, as you guys can see down there are the narrow pipes. We have to try to coffin in between those. Let's get a closer look. Woo! All right, all the way across. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we have to fly off, off of this and try to get our coffin in between these two pipes. So you kind of want to hit like the edge of this because it propels you forward and then into the corner and then into the coffin. Oh, oh no. Oh, we actually almost got a first try, but I don't think we're allowed to hit the pipes. I think we have to clear them perfectly. <gasps> it's kind of a hectic challenge. It's definitely a silly one. What in the world just happened? All right, so we go down here and I landed in the middle of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it all the way across. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to kick flip down into this bowl. And then up into this one and get into a coffin. And okay. I feel like this will be easier if my coffin is head first because I think my feet on that last one like hit the, uh, like when I do it this way, my feet hit this thing right here. But if I have my head first, I think that'll be better. So let's try that. We got to make the adjustment because clearly what I'm doing is not working. So 180. Okay, like that. Nice. And like that. And like that. Okay. We keep making it through them, but we're not landing it, obviously. All right, here we go. I think I have to 180 like that into the coffin like that. Yes, and then ride off like that. <gasps> oh, that was so close. All right, that was the closest we've gotten yet. Ollie, 180 coffin. You want to kind of ride off the side. Ah, right. My head went right into it. Here we go. 360. Nice. And big Ollie, 180. Okay, coffin. And come on. Oh, <laughs> We made it, but I think I hit it. I don't want to hit it. That's not as clean. It, it shouldn't count if you hit it. Oh, yep. My trucks hit it right there. You can see I kind of slowed down. Yeah, that doesn't count. 
All right, there we go. 180. Coffin, looking good. And yes, land it, yes! <laughs> oh, we landed right into the thing, but there we go. We made it through the first narrow gap. I was so afraid I wasn't gonna land that. Oh, look at that, barely. Barely straight into the wall, but my guy held on and then he chilled for a little bit celebratory heel flip as well All right, so we start with kick flip uh, a little tweaked out grab there into this bowl thing and then up here Ollie 180 into a coffin <laughs> Looks so silly, but there we go into this bowl and Right through the gap. Let's go boom perfect landing. All right, let's film it Oh, that's such a cool angle from right there. All right, there we go. First challenge of the episode. Well, kind of second challenge if you count the very first one, but uh, it, 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 let's just get to the next one. And since we're in the area, I want to show you guys this. This is the very first narrow gap challenge I ever did. I went in between these two like telephone poles. I don't know exactly what they are, but we're not going to do this one again just because I've done this one in a video, but we we're in the area. So I thought we would come say hello to one of the first narrow gaps I ever did. So this one isn't actually a narrow gap. It's more of a narrow grind. It's a really tight window to, to hit this grind. So let's watch it. It comes from the Skate Challenges Instagram page. You can see they're downtown. They go up off the ramp. And then they, oh, they grind the billboard on that building. That is an incredibly narrow billboard to get a grind on. And then they land on the other side. So this one's going to be fun to figure out. It looks like they have a pretty strange ramp setup. And I always like trying to do the DIY stuff. So let's go down town and try to hit this pretty sweet billboard grind sometimes the hardest part of these challenges is actually just finding <laughs> the spots because it, it's once you get downtown everything kind of looks the same i think it's around here somewhere there's just like a ton of different billboards and stuff around here so is it this way i'm probably not going the right way at all oh no it is here yes it's right here oh my gosh it's a pretty thin billboard up against that uh building i feel like i'm gonna accidentally grind the top part more so i think this qualifies as a narrow grind so i think we gotta go this way yes and then put a ramp here but yeah they have a pretty janky ramp setup which i think is gonna be funny i think they use a large wedge ramp on the bottom and then a kicker on top of it it's a little janky it's not the cleanest setup i've ever seen but sometimes that's what makes these challenges fun all right so there we go. I'm also going to go into free play. I don't want to deal with all these cars and people. So I think the goal here is to do the speed glitch and then like power slide to slow down. If that makes sense, I should just learn a slower speed glitch. But yeah, if we're going this fast, I have a feeling that it's not going to work. This is going to be fun. This is uh, it's also like a narrow little corridor that we have to try to get to. I feel like I'm still going too fast. Okay, am I going too slow now? I probably shouldn't have slowed down there. Let's just see what happens if we're going at like a regular speed. Ooh, we're actually pretty close at a regular speed, so we really do not have to be going that fast. I could just ollie onto it now that I think about it. We'll, we'll just uh, we'll just see what happens. We'll play it by ear. I think this is an okay speed, but yeah, ollie onto the sidewalk instead. And up, okay. And oh, we actually almost did a nose blunt on the building, but that was good. That was the closest we've gotten. I don't know what's more narrow, just trying to like stay on the sidewalk and not hit the building or actually getting into the grind. They're pretty close, but here we go. We're up and oh, we just missed it. That speed was perfect. I'm hoping that this is the kind of one and done kind of challenge where like once I get into the grind, like the first time I just land it, like I make it all the way through the other side. I hope there's not like a bunch of close calls, but you know what? You never really know with these challenges, so we'll just see what's in store but this is a good amount of speed we get a little bounce there and we're up wall ride oh come on and up yes and grind it no no all right there we go power slide around okay we kind of slowed down but i think we're at a good speed i have no idea all right let's just try it go up here and up yes yes perfect the grind make it to the ramp please no oh we landed it <laughs> i didn't think we'd be able to land it without the ramp but clearly we can but it looks cleaner with the ramp so let's just move the ramp over here <laughs> and try it again but there we go we actually got the grind come on yes 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 come on Yes, right into the ramp. There we go. Narrow challenge complete. A narrow grind. That was awesome. All right, let's watch that one back. 
I need to learn another speed glitch, because this one's way too fast for every situation. But here we go. I did a little revert there, but what really slowed me down was, like, hitting that telephone pole actually slowed me down to the perfect speed where I didn't have to power slide again, which was nice. And then Ollie onto the sidewalk. This was the narrowest part of the whole thing, to stay on the sidewalk. And then we go up off of this. Don't even Ollie. And the same exact grind they did, an over crook slash nose grind, whatever you want to call that. Nolly out, melon grab, boom! Right into the ramp. Let's film it. Now that is a sick downtown clip. All right, I'm very satisfied with that. Another narrow challenge complete. As you guys can see by the window behind me, it is now nighttime. I started this video when it was literally bright out. So these challenges are taking a while. These narrow challenges are pretty hard. But anyways, we're not done. We're going to move into another one. I'm going to take a little break, but then I'll be right back, and we are going to continue. All right, we're back. It's day two. As you can see, it's a new day outside, but I'm ready to get back to some of these narrow gap challenges because they're pretty fun. Actually, I think the last one we did was a grind, but either way, we're getting back into some more. What is going on? How? Oh, I don't know how I'm skating away from all this right now. We got to get some street skating in here, baby. All right, let's go. Next challenge is from Skate3Tommy on TikTok. This is a very viral TikTok. This has two million views. As you can see, it's called the Skate3 Thread the Needle compilation we're gonna do the very first challenge here so basically they're at the memorial they ollie off the ramp backflip into a coffin oh right underneath the lion statue right in between its legs that's pretty neat i definitely don't get to go to that area very often so we're gonna try this challenge i've made a lot of skate 3 videos over the years and i'm not sure i've ever actually done a challenge for a video here at the memorial it's just a place i don't go very often i know a lot of people like to try to foot plant this dude's head like that and then pff, probably not land in the water but yeah this is actually a pretty good area for challenges i know some people like walk all ride this entire thing it's a cool area there's a lot of a lot of cool things you can do here but we're going over to those lion statues well, all right so we're trying to do a coffin backflip in between the legs of this lion so i'm pretty sure they use a medium wedge ramp so let's grab one of these uh i'm just gonna wing it here put it right here oh it looks like it might not be skatable let's find out because sometimes these ramps are hard to skate Oh, okay, that looks pretty skatable. All right, so now we need to go back, get some speed, and we're just going to try it. All right, I don't think they actually get a ton of speed for this challenge. In the video they sent, it didn't look like they were going all that fast. So let's just see what happens here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we, we got kind of close. The real challenge is how they got the coffin off in time. You got to, like, immediately pull the coffin off. Oh, like that. Oh, that was so close. Wait, I'm on the statue. Where am I going to spawn? Oh, I spawned back on the ground. It'd be kind of cool to, like, spawn on top of that. But that was a pretty close attempt. We just need to time it and line it up a little bit better like that. Oh, no, I forgot the backflip. Here we go. Here we go. And backflip. No, I'm not getting the distance anymore. What's this guy doing? Day drinking? Come on, bro. All right, let's try this. We move the ramp a little bit closer. Hopefully, that gives us a little bit of an edge. And like that. Oh, so close. I slammed into it. I'm literally underneath it right now on my board. Come on, I want to spawn in on it. Oh. All right, we're getting very, very close. I feel it coming. I'm calling my shot right here. Ready? Dang it. <laughs> it's gonna work one of these times. Get out of my way, please. I'm getting so close. Like that? Yes. Oh my gosh, I just need a coffin earlier. Oh my gosh, there's two people in the way. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna do it right over them. Oh, oh, I thought that was gonna be it. Oh my gosh, now I want to land it while these guys are standing here. I feel like that would look so cool. I just gotta, just like that. Yes, let's go. We did it with the people in the way. Oh my gosh, that clip is gonna look so cool. I did it over these guys. All right, let's go back to the replay. That was perfect. A perfect thread the needle challenge over two guys standing next to my ramp. That is pretty funny. Nice, let's watch it back. All right, so we come up to it. That guy like pushed that guy into me. I ollie over the two guys. Oh my gosh, look, that guy's like watching me. That's so sick. We go backflip, coffin. There's another woman watching me too. I had so many spectators for this challenge. Perfectly underneath the lion statue and out the other side successfully. That was awesome. I want to try to film it like from the perspective of one of the guys like standing here. 
<laughs> that looks so weird. Imagine if you saw that just in real life somewhere. You would just not even believe it. And then he like rolls up to you at the end. That was cool. All right, good clip, successful challenge. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you wanna check out my Pokemon channel, once again, the link is in the description. I have a couple new awesome videos coming up, so make sure you go and check it out if you're interested. And once again, if you'd like to send in any of your own Epic Skate 3 challenges, you can send it with me on Twitter or Instagram at ZexyZek. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay Zexy. See you guys.